always this way. I used to be just your average student in class. I'd look at the blackboard as equation after equation with multiple variables went up. I had no idea what they meant. But then one day, it happened so fast. With just a phrase, equations became graphs. I could see it. I could feel it. I could visualize functions of multiple variables. From that day on, I wasn't the same again. From that day on, I became the graph man. I've come up with the hardest math question ever. Not just one variable, two. These students will never be able to understand it. F of X, Y equals no. 5,000. No, no, not so fast right there. Your days of confusing us with your multiple variables are over. Say hello to my little friend I like to call Plot 3D. I just think of the equation. I think what parameters I want. Let's do 50 on each axis. And then... No! It's just, it's just too easy for them. No, but, but this doesn't, this, this doesn't tell me any in information about the graph. Like, see that point there? You can't tell me the slope of it. it yeah, I can. It, that's trivial. I mean, you just need to do a tangent approximation. Uh, remember tangents in linear plots? Well, just take the derivative. In this case, you have uh, two variables, so you can take the partial derivative, get a plane that's the exact slope of that point, and there you go. Impossible! Impossible! That, how is it so easy to manipulate multivariable functions? Wait, wait. Wait a second. Students don't have this 3D plot thing in the classroom. On tests, all they have is 2D pieces of paper. <laughs> but yes. Oh, boogers. No, but wait. You can use contour plots. Con like contour plots. Yeah. Con like contour maps. Yeah, exactly. 2D representations of 3D um, variables. For example, what you do is you do um, level planes. So draw planes that are parallel to the axes that cut across, say, thousand, two thousand five hundred, four thousand five hundred. And then wherever they intersect, that'll be level curves. Curves of your equation that are of the same level. If you draw these level curves on a 2D plot, you've got a 2D contour plot. So students can, can visualize 3D plots on 2D things. Yeah. No! I'm In the name of mathematics, I declare the tyrannous rule of Riddler over. He is dead. No more shall students be confused by multivariable equations. No more shall they look at a blackboard and not know how to visualize it. I vow that every student know my power and feels what I feel. Alright everyone, that's why I would like to lay tangents here curves. <clears throat> what? What? This just in, folks. We've heard that the Graph Man has just defeated the Riddler. And that seems to be him right there. Graph Man, Graph Man, how, how? Graph Man, Graph Man, how? How? How did you defeat the Riddler? Listen, I, I didn't defeat him. It, it was my powers. I mean, um, you can do it too. With Maple, uh, you can have my powers. Just just download my self-study worksheet. It's, it's on my website oh. for uh, just two payments of $69.69. And you can visualize functions of multiple variables too. Oh, so this is how you get your powers. <laughs> oh, Graph Man, you've made a huge mistake. Now I have your powers too. <laughs> ah, you see, I am not a reporter. I am... Dysfunction! Maple! is a powerful enough tool to visualize any function, and yet you only use it to visualize simple functions for the sake of humanity. But look at me. I don't care. No, give it back. No. Oh. 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 Oh.
<laughs> my first decree as this function is to plot the graph x squared minus y squared over x squared plus y squared. No! But, but that graph, it, at the origin, it, it's zero at the denominator. You're gonna get a discontinuity. How dare you use my powers for such evil? Ah, uh, uh, yes, and I shall use it to rule the world. Just see how with the graph you can now actually see the limits of both sides approach one point of evil. There is no function too hard for me to visualize and manipulate. Even graphs of different variables other than x and y. Like even graphs not in Cartesian coordinates. Even graphs in polar coordinates. No! Not polar uh, coordinates! Are you crazy? By simply adding the chord equals cylindrical to the options of the plot 3D function, Maple can work with polar coordinates with ease. And now I shall suck you into my vortex. <laughs> I never thought I'd have to do this. I think I'm gonna have to call upon the power of the vector fields, the field of vectors of all the gradients pointing towards the direction of greatest magnitude along the axis. I call it the hurricane. <laughs> Yes, for the second time in the name of math, students around the world have been shielded from the confusing powers of multiple variables. For the years to come, I vow to live a life of secrecy. I vow never to use my powers again for conflict. But I guess I can never stop being graph man. What will it be, sir? Surprise me, Mr. Tattoo Man. How about a parametric curve, a function dependent on two variables, x and y, which both are dependent on a third variable, t, for time. This can be represented using an animated curve. Even graphs other than 